Today, we will be answering very important questions such as Lunarosa Ocean, does it smell like the ocean? Is this a good release? Does it smell like something else? Can it get me compliments? <laughs> Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense, and today we're going to be taking a look at Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. I'll be breaking this fragrance down for you guys to let you know what I think about it, and we'll also check out that Prezi and let you know if that's any good too. Did a first impression on this a while back, thought it was pretty good, but it didn't blow my mind. Have things changed since then? Yes, they have. Let's jump into it. First up, presentation time. This fragrance I purchased directly from Prada's website, which at the time I placed the order was the only place that you could buy it. But since then it's matriculated its way out to a whole bunch of different retailers. So now you can buy it from the retailer of your choosing. Notice I said retailer, not discounter. That's because it's not at discounters yet. But if you're watching this in the future, guess what? It is available now. You in the future, you're so lucky. You can save money now. Go you. I wish I could just hop into the future like that. That'd be sick. Let's check out this presentation, shall we? On the front of the box, you've got the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, the size, and the concentration. Nothing at the top other than that Lunarosa stripe. Nothing on the sides. On the back, you've got the uh, precautions and the ingredients. And then on the bottom, you're gonna find your badge code. Badge code is 22U406X. And here we have the bottle. Again, name of the fragrance, name of the house right there on the front. The atomizer is built into the top, nothing on the back. On the bottom, you have your sticker with your badge code. I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Now, I really like the presentation. I think the bottle looks slick. I love the gradient where it's a little bit darker at the bottom and then more of a deep blue at the top. I like the box as well. The atomizer spray is kind of a a jet stream almost. So it doesn't do this really wide dispersion. It kind of hits in a, a concentrated area. Before this release, it had been a while since we got a new Prada, at least in their main line of fragrances, you know, Prada Loam and Prada Lunarosa. I think 2019 was the last time that we got a new one. All of 2020, we got nothing. And then in 2021, so far we've gotten this. So they took their sweet time coming out with this. You know, they had a had a while to prepare it. And I would say up until this point, that Lunarosa Ocean has not really been welcomed in with, with open arms. People are kind of, uh, they're kind of viewing this as a mediocre release, we'll say. And to an extent, that's how my first impression went. I didn't think it was bad, but at the same time, I didn't really love it. So let's talk about how this one smells now that I've had a little more time to hang out with it and get to know it better. The first thing that you might ask yourself is, is Luna Rosa Ocean a very aquatic Luna Rosa fragrance? And I would say, no, it's not. Now it will have you smelling fresh and clean for the most part, but Fresh and clean does not equal the ocean. That doesn't equal water, although water can make you feel fresh and clean, but it doesn't smell like water and it definitely doesn't smell oceanic. You're not gonna get this big sea saltiness or this driftwood kind of thing going on. That's not what this fragrance is about. So when you first spray this on, you're gonna get hit with a blast of bergamot. You've got a little bit of fresh spice in there and it actually is gonna remind you of potentially five, six, seven other fragrances in the opening. So by that, I mean it has this blue fragrance opening where it smells very versatile, mass appealing, clean, fresh, easy to wear, compliment pulling, all that stuff. You know, blue fragrances. That's what this smells like in the opening. The one that it's drawn the most comparison to so far is Blue de Chanel from Chanel. Now that being said, I don't think this smells like Blue de Chanel, but it definitely is that type of scent where you smell it in the opening, you know, you, you give it a spray, you let it settle and you go, I think I've smelled something like that before. It's got that kind of vibe in the opening. So you could contrast and compare it potentially to like 10 other blue fragrances out there and say, little bit of this, little bit of that, little bit of this, little bit of that. All that to the side though, it smells really nice, really inviting in the opening, smells good. 
Like I said, versatile, people pleasing. That's what it smells like. Bunch of bergamot, kind of a green tinge. So like a green tinged blue fragrance opening. Pretty quickly, it starts to go into the mid and that's where the iris is going to start coming up with a bit of lavender as well. And the further it gets into the mid, the more of a similarity it takes on to the Prada Loam line. So the iris that's here in Lunarosa Ocean comes across a bit like the iris that you're gonna find in the Loam line. And so what ends up happening is this retains a lot of that, that blue fragrance style and sensibility that it has from the opening, but it melds together with that clean, fresh iris from Prada Loam. So it ends up smelling like what a blue fragrance would smell like if it were released in the Prada Loam line, but it's not, it's in the Lunarosa line. I know that sounds weird, but that's basically how it comes across in the mid. Like, hey guys, here's a new Prada Loam where we're gonna retain that iris essence of the fragrance line, but we're making it for mass appeal, baby. Even more so than the other Prada Loam line fragrances are. Blue Prada Loam, only in a Lunarosa bottle. Truthfully guys, through the mid, the more I've worn this, the more I like it which is not really a surprise because I'm a fan of the Prada Loam line in general. I think it's really solid. They're all right over here. And so even though this is maybe not the most original fragrance in the sense that, you know, it borrows from some other scents possibly in the opening with that, that fresh, bright blue open, and then it fades into uh, essentially Prada Loam with twists and tweaks, even though it's not the most original thing on earth, I really think it smells great. As you head into the dry down, you pick up more vetiver. It's more of a clean vetiver, but it does have a dry feeling to it. So when you catch a big whiff, it's got this dry woodiness to it. And then you get patchouli that comes out as well. The patchouli is, is a little more of on the clean side. I would say it's not really earthy or dirty. And then when you hit the far dry down, a lot of muskiness comes out. So a clean white musk. It's blended really well. Everything here is, is very smooth. There's only a, a touch of powder from that iris. It never goes too far down that, that powdery path, the PP, the powdery path. And that's actually really good because that gives it a little bit more wearability because with a lot of fragrances, when they start getting too powdery, a lot of people start to write those off and they go, okay, I'm not gonna wear that during the summer. I'm not gonna wear that during uh, actually ever because I'm a man and I can't wear something that's got powder. <laughs> I don't do that, but you know, some of you out there do. Don't lie to yourself. So the fact that they rein that in a little bit and they keep it from going too powdery with the iris, but retain that Prada feel with the iris, really nice. So as you can probably tell here, Lunarosa Ocean has grown on me. I didn't dislike it when I smelled it originally. I was maybe a little bit let down. I was hoping for a little more of something, we'll say unique, something that was a little more out there maybe. And that's not what this is. But at the same time, I can't deny that I love smelling it. So it's kind of one of those times where you have to just take a step back and accept within yourself that you enjoy how something smells, even if some people are gonna call it redundant or boring. Personally, I don't think it's boring, but I know some people definitely will. Let's talk really quickly about performance. It's actually better than I originally expected. Over six hours pretty easily, I'd say seven hours plus, realistically. Uh, projection best in the first hour to hour and a half, but even two, three hours in, I can still catch whiffs of it pretty easily. So for me, performance is pretty good. And I would say part of that is probably because of how that atomizer functions. It really does hit you with a, a blast. So hopefully you can, you can make this out. We're gonna see, but let me give it a spray. Yeah, hopefully you can make out that big Charlie Sheen right there where I blasted myself. So you give yourself a few sprays of that and you've got some hyper concentrated spots of Lunarosa Ocean. Season wise, ton of versatility here. I'd say spring, summer, fall easily. And you could probably pull it off in winter as well. Like I usually say with fragrances that do have versatility like this one, just adjust your sprays up or down as needed, depending on where you're going, where you're gonna be around, what you're gonna be doing, what the temperature is gonna be, all that stuff. If it's gonna be somewhere really cold and you're gonna be outside a lot, adjust your sprays up. If it's gonna be ultra hot and you're gonna be around a ton of people, maybe dial it down a little bit, unless you want to olfactively assault people and spray it on as much as you want. You own that space and also their space. You own all the space and you wanna fill it with your fragrance. 
Hippity hoppity, what was once your space is now my property. With this being a product fragrance, it probably will not be heavily discounted once it does hit discounters. You'll be able to save some money, but it's not gonna be an insane amount. Prada is not the type of house where you're gonna get it, you know, knocked off down to 20 bucks or something like that. So if you check this out in a store and you like it, or if you get a sample and you like it, or if you just wanna grab it, you don't have to feel too bad. I know at the beginning of the video, I talked about discounters and saving money in the future, rah, 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 but it's probably not gonna be that much that you save. As I mentioned, I bought this direct from Prada's website and I do not regret it a bit. I actually like this much more now than I did when I did my first impression. It's a, again, one of those times where you spend a little time with somebody, you get to know them and you say, hey man, you're not so bad after all. I was gonna punch you in the throat, but now that we've hung out, I'm gonna buy you a drink. So for me, do I like it more than black? I would say not just because I have a really big attachment to Lunarosa Black. I really, really love that one. But this is right up there with carbon for me now. And I would say it would just depend on my mood that day as to which one I would reach for between the two. So I know this one has gotten a good amount of hate. People dunking on it, saying that it's trash, garbaggio, all that. I actually dig it and I like it a lot. Kind of pulling on my heartstrings a little bit here with that Prada Loam Blue fragrance with a vetiver dry down. Mm, I like that. So there we go. Prada Lunarosa Ocean. It's a grower and a shower. And just to kind of throw it in right there on the end, I did have my wife smell this a bunch of times while I was wearing it. You know, my kind of ninjutsu move where I just smoothly move up while she's doing something else and, and put my my sprayed arm right in front of her face say what do you think about that and also just moving throughout the day and you know her commenting on that but uh yeah both ways with uh ninjutsu kind of ambush and also just her commenting on it she really liked it so gets her seal of approval too can't ask for too much more than that a fragrance that i like and my significant other likes that's a win-win so there we go guys luna rosa ocean actually pretty nice aquatic nope doesn't really have anything aquatic to it other than it's fresh but the scent is good all right that's gonna do it for me i'm out stay safe out there i'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video see you later